digging into the human brain, taking on projects to improve the brain, or perhaps building a glider to honor World War II veterans. All strong entries. They're all competing for this month's One School at a Time competition, sponsored by Q2 and Cloud Peak Energy. Now, all three schools will win, but tonight, Q2's Jenny Fix shows us what projects you'll be voting on to improve our community. Ben Steele students have been building a Northrop primary glider to honor Ben Steele and others serving in the Army Air Force in World War II. We built a glider, just a group of 21 kids and a couple other adults and other people from the community. It's kind of crazy what you can accomplish with just some time and effort. They hope to use the funds to purchase a mural to display in the commons to complement the glider. We're going to put the builders and the two main people that really like hit us really deep and um, really started this off was Colonel Borman and Kit Carson. And Kit, uh, Kit Carson is no longer with us, but he came up at the age of 95 and he talked with us about when he built this in 1934. Colonel Borman came up in October and he is the Apollo 8 astronaut who went to the moon. And so those were huge stepping moments for this. The group feels that the display will be something that future generations can appreciate. I just think this is something we can cherish forever, and we can always go back to Ben Steele and say, we did that. We yeah. were part of that. Blue Creek Elementary has implemented a program at their school called Project Lead the Way. The program is intended to engage the students in hands-on activities and explore creativity and problem solving. Like today here, the kids are learning about ecosystems, and they have all the different things like goldfish, snails, plants, animals, non-living things. They would like to purchase science kits to reinforce STEM lessons. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And I think that those four things go into so many different fields. And if the kids see that on a daily basis, I think it, it gets them excited to go into different fields that maybe they wouldn't think of, you know, later down the road. Poly Drive Elementary intends to start a neuroscience club. The club would explore how the brain connects to the senses. And it's really interesting to be able to see all the parts of the eye and how the eye works and how it connects to the brain. So I'd really like to be able to show that to the kids and to our school. The funds would go towards supplies to use for hands-on activities. The club would be available to all grades and would provide understanding of how the brain works. I think it helps them with their learning um, and with them taking ownership of the, over their own learning because they understand uh, what learning is. If they understand how their brain works and how they make connections in their brain. And that was a look at this month's projects. Now it's up to you to help these schools and log on to ktvq.com and vote. In Billings, I'm Jenny Fick, MTN News. All right, thanks so much, Jenny. All great projects. Absolutely. And a vote for your favorite project. You can vote once a day. Head to ktvq.com and access the community tab. And in addition to voting to the One School Awards, you can also donate to help the schools meet their goals.